In the world of fighter jets, you have the big names, the F-35, a marvel of modern engineering, bristling with sensors and stealth technology, often seen as the gold standard for air superiority. Then there are the Russian flankers, massive, powerful machines that dominate headlines and soak up defense budgets, their presence alone enough to intimidate rivals. But from Sweden comes something different, the JAS-39 Gripen. It's a jet that's clever, agile, and criminally underestimated by those who only look at size or price tags. Think of it as the Lancia Stratos of the skies, small, nimble, and designed to outsmart the giants. The Gripen doesn't just fly, it dances, weaving through the air with a grace that belies its deadly potential. The Gripen isn't about brute force or eye-watering price tags. It's about doing more with less, about maximizing every ounce of performance and technology. It's about survival through intelligence, a jet that can think, adapt, and vanish before the enemy even knows what hit them. Its advanced avionics and electronic warfare systems make it a ghost on the battlefield. Imagine a lightweight boxer, dismissed by the crowd, who dances around the heavyweight and lands the knockout punch. That's the Gripen, quick, unpredictable, and always a step ahead. In military exercises, the Gripen has quietly dismantled legends, outmaneuvering larger, more expensive jets and proving that brains can outmatch brawn. Its pilots trust it to turn the tables, even when the odds seem impossible. It's not just another aircraft, it's a shift in military thinking. The Gripen challenges the idea that only the biggest and most expensive jets can win wars. In an era of billion-dollar stealth bombers and sprawling defense contracts, the Gripen is the pragmatic rebel, cost-effective, reliable, and ready for action at a moment's notice. It's a force multiplier, giving smaller nations the power to stand up to superpowers. For countries with limited resources, the Gripen is a game-changer, offering cutting-edge capability without breaking the bank. The Gripen is a tool of asymmetric warfare, a clever hammer in a world obsessed with size. It can operate from remote road bases, hide in plain sight, and strike when least expected. It's the fighter jet that could change everything, rewriting the rules of air combat, and forcing the world's air forces to rethink what really matters in a dogfight. This is the story of the underdog with a vicious bite, a jet that proves you don't have to be the biggest to be the best. Let's find out how the Gripen does it, and why the world's most underestimated fighter might just be its most dangerous. What's the Gripen's secret? What sets it apart from the crowd of modern fighter jets? And why do so many air forces around the world want it in their arsenal? It's not just speed, though Mach 2 is nothing to sneeze at. The Gripen can rocket off the runway and climb to altitude in seconds, but that's just the beginning of its story. The real magic is its blend of agility and intelligence. The Gripen is engineered to outmaneuver opponents, pulling tight turns and rapid rolls that leave rivals struggling to keep up. The Gripen is a ballet dancer in a dogfight, turning on a dime and getting weapons on target fast. Its fly-by-wire controls and advanced aerodynamics mean the pilot can focus on tactics, not wrestling the jet. Its electronics are a masterstroke. Think flying smartphone, not flying supercomputer. The cockpit is designed for clarity and speed, with intuitive touchscreens and smart automation that reduce pilot workload. The pilot gets a clear, simple view of chaos, thanks to a data link that lets Gripens share threats instantly, like a pack of wolves hunting together. This networked awareness means every pilot knows what's happening across the entire battle space. Unlike older jets, the Gripen was built for networked warfare from day one. It's not just a lone hunter, it's a team player, seamlessly integrating with ground stations, drones, and other aircraft. The E-Series bridges the gap between Cold War classics and today's stealth fighters, offering advanced sensors and electronics without the F-35's price or headaches. It's a modern marvel that doesn't break the bank. The Gripen doesn't try to be the best at everything, instead, it's designed to excel at what really counts in modern air combat. Instead, it's brilliant at what matters, finding the enemy first, striking from a distance, and doing it all with precision. Its sensors can spot threats before they're even aware of the Gripen's presence. And when things get dangerous, the Gripen is built to survive. With advanced countermeasures and agile handling, it can dodge missiles and return home to fight another day. It's a philosophy of efficiency, speed, smarts, and unique abilities in perfect balance. The Gripen is easy to maintain, quick to turn around, and can even operate from short, rugged airstrips. The Gripen isn't just a different jet. It's a different way of thinking about air power. It's about doing more with less, and always staying one step ahead of the competition. That's what makes it formidable. It's a jet that adapts, evolves, and keeps its pilots safe while delivering results. 
and that's why it's changing the game, redefining what a modern fighter can be, and proving that sometimes, the smartest solution is also the most effective. In military aviation performance matters more than promises. When the stakes are sky high only real results count. Fighter jets are judged not by their marketing brochures, but by how they perform in the heat of simulated battle, where every move is scrutinized and every mistake could mean defeat. The Gripen's reputation was forged in brutal exercises, not real wars, but the results are stunning. In these high-pressure environments, pilots push their machines and themselves to the limit, revealing the true capabilities of their aircraft. The Gripen, often underestimated, has consistently surprised even the most seasoned observers. At Red Flag Alaska, one of the world's toughest air combat exercises, Gripen's acting as the enemy use their advanced data links to coordinate attacks and score 10 kills with zero losses against top-tier jets. This wasn't just luck, it was a demonstration of teamwork, technology and tactics coming together perfectly. In a legendary dogfight, a single Gripen pilot faced off against five advanced F-16S. Outnumbered and outgunned, the Gripen used its agility and situational awareness to shoot down all five opponents, one against five, and the underdog won. Stories like this have become part of Gripen's growing legend. In the massive Loyal Arrow exercise, a Gripen intercepted three F-15Cs, some of the most respected fighters in the world, and shot down two. It was a clear message. Agility and smart tactics can outmaneuver raw power and brute force even against the best. The trend continued in Thailand, where Gripen's faced off against China's elite Su-27S. In a series of intense mock battles, the Gripen achieved a staggering kill ratio of 41 to 9. These results weren't flukes, they were the product of superior training, advanced avionics, and a relentless focus on innovation. Most kills were scored from beyond visual range, where the Gripen's superior radar and long-range missiles allowed it to strike before the enemy even knew it was there. In modern air combat, seeing first and shooting first is everything, and the Gripen excels at both. The Gripen's playbook is simple, see first, shoot first, win. Its pilots rely on cutting-edge sensors and data fusion to build a complete picture of the battle space, making split-second decisions that turn the tide of battle. It's not about dogfighting bravado, it's about using brains and tech to dominate. Electronic warfare, information sharing and smart tactics are the real weapons. The Gripen's pilots are trained to outthink and outmaneuver their opponents, not just outfly them. Again and again, the Gripen has quietly outclassed the world's most famous jets, its victories in exercises have earned it a reputation as a true force multiplier, respected by allies and feared by rivals. That's why it's feared by those who know. Behind closed doors, even rival pilots admit the Gripen is a formidable opponent, one that can never be underestimated, and why it's respected by those who faced it. The underdog keeps winning, not by chance, but by design, proving that in the skies, brains and innovation can triumph over brute strength. The Gripen's Edge isn't just its airframe, it's the tech inside. Its AESA radar can track multiple targets instantly, scanning the sky with precision. But turning on radar can reveal your position. So the Gripen adds a passive IRIST sensor, a heat-seeking camera that silently tracks enemy jets. These sensors are fused by the jet's computer giving the pilot a god's eye view. The real magic, the data link. Four Gripens can spread out, only one using radar, but all see the same picture. Total situational awareness, minimal risk. The electronic warfare suite is both shield and sword. It detects threats, deploys countermeasures, and jams enemy radars. The result is a jet that's hard to find, hard to hit, and able to blind its enemies. The Gripen isn't just a fighter, it's a flying command center. It can hunt silently, strike suddenly, and disappear before the enemy can react. This symphony of sensors and electronic warfare is what makes the Gripen so deadly. It's not just about flying, it's about outsmarting the opposition. And that's how the Gripen wins every time. The Gripen's most unique feature, where it can land. Most jets need long, perfect runways, easy targets in war. The Swedes knew their airbases would be bombed, so they built the Gripen to operate from almost anywhere. It can take off and land on a 700-meter stretch of public road. This means Gripens can be hidden across a country, popping up from highways, striking and vanishing. It's not a gimmick, it's core doctrine. A small team can refuel and rearm a Gripen in under 10 minutes, no fancy hangar needed. This makes the jet incredibly resilient and hard to kill on the ground. For an enemy, it's a nightmare. How do you ground an air force with no fixed base? 
While other jets are stuck on bombed runways, Gripens keep flying. This focus on dispersed operations is a Cold War lesson, perfected. The result? The most survivable fighter jet in the world, and a strategic headache for any aggressor. Let's talk money, the real battlefield for most air forces. The Gripen E costs about $85 million, a bargain compared to the F-35, Rafale, or Typhoon. But the real savings are in operations. The Gripen is the cheapest Western fighter to fly and maintain. Its simple design means a small crew can service it on a roadside, slashing costs and keeping pilots in the air. No need for massive hangars or armies of contractors. This affordability lets nations train more, fly more and get more value for every dollar. 90% of the capability, half the lifetime cost. For countries without bottomless budgets, the Gripen isn't just a good option, it's the smartest one. It proves you don't have to spend the most to be among the best. That's why it's winning over air forces worldwide. And why it's a game changer for defense budgets. The Gripen's mix of performance, tech, and affordability is winning fans worldwide. Brazil chose the Gripen EF, not just for the jet, but for the tech transfer, building its own aerospace industry. South Africa modernized its air force with Gripen's, gaining multi-role capability in one efficient package. Hungary and the Czech Republic lease Gripen's, getting NATO standard fighters at a fraction of the F-35's cost. Canada is eyeing the Gripen as a practical alternative for its vast territory and tight budget. Saab even offers local production, creating jobs and avoiding political strings. Sweden's neutrality makes the Gripen attractive, no superpower entanglements. Saab has unsold Gripen's ready for rapid delivery, perfect for nations needing a quick boost. Flexibility, proven performance, and cost effectiveness have made the Gripen a global contender. It's the go-to for countries wanting first-rate power without first-world prices. And it's only gaining momentum. Nowhere is the Gripen's value clearer than in Ukraine. With Russian missiles targeting airbases, the Gripen's ability to operate from highways is a survival trait, not a luxury. F-16S need pristine runways. Gripen's can scatter and strike from hidden locations, staying in the fight. The real ace, the Meteor missile over 200 km range, Mark IV speed, outclassing anything Russia has. Gripen's with Meteors could create a no-fly zone, protecting Ukrainian forces on the ground. Sweden is upgrading its own fleet, potentially freeing up Gripen's for Ukraine. The jet is easier to learn and maintain than F-16S, making it ideal for rapid deployment. The strategic logic is undeniable. Survivability, advanced sensors and superior weapons could give Ukraine the edge. The Gripen could change the course of the war, and it might happen soon. The Saab JS-39 Gripen is more than metal and wires. It's a brilliant idea in flight. It proves that agility, efficiency, and intelligence can outmatch brute force and complexity. Every feature, from its road operations to its networked sensors, is about real-world effectiveness. It empowers smaller nations, shifting the balance of power. Countries like Brazil, South Africa, and Ukraine see in the Gripen a path to modern, independent air defense. It offers superpower-level capability without the superpower price. The Gripen is the smart choice in a world of costly complexity. It's the underdog with a digital brain, quietly changing everything. Sometimes the cleverest wins. And the Gripen is very, very clever indeed. <laughs>